Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and you all really amaze me with the questions that you've been asking. I'm smiling now because I'm thinking about some of them that you even are coming up with great big words. But last week I told you my bonus would be about vitamin D and one of the questions was about vitamin D. So I'm going to give you the skinny on vitamin D. Vitamin D helps calcium be pulled from the intestine and put into your blood. Vitamin F or flax oil or the omega-3 oils like omega-3 from flax or walnut oil, even fish oils takes it from the blood to your skin. That is one of the reasons I believe a lot of people have problems with skin cancer today because they eat so many of the wrong fats like trans fat and artificial fats and the calcium cannot get from the blood to the skin. You might want to listen to that comment once again. The reason that vitamin D is so important is it's because of the calcium. See, calcium helps glue cells together. And if you don't have enough calcium and the, glue, the cells aren't glued together, unfriendly organisms and bacteria and viruses can penetrate cell membranes. That's one of the reasons that people get the flu during the winter time because there's no sunshine. So vitamin D primarily helps absorb calcium from the intestine, puts it in the blood. I think what also is important that a lot of conditions can improve with vitamin D. I have had patients who've had high blood pressure go down by taking vitamin D. I've also had people have chronic bronchitis go away by taking vitamin D. I've also had patients who've had MS and diabetes and blood sugar because of vitamin D. So what I would encourage you to do is have a vitamin D test. And you know what? Go to our website and come and just get a kit. We can mail it to you anywhere in the world. You should have it done at least once a year, once every two years. And it'll just make a difference for you. And I'm going to tell you right now, I take D Mulgen Forte. I put two drops on my tongue every morning after I brush my teeth. The vitamin D on my tongue bypasses digestion in the liver. It's absorbed right through my mouth. Probably one of the best kept secrets. And I have to move on, but I'd like you to go to the internet and type in the word apoptosis. A P O P Tosis. That's limited cell life. Cancer. Vitamin D will keep cancer in check. Dr. Bob, question number one. Your previous book recommended whole food supplement supplements. I've always used them through a local uh, DC and was wondering how do you feel about whole food for synthetic vitamins? Well, it's almost impossible, not t totally, to avoid some kind of synthetic products today because they're definitely very potent. I know that we use a variety of products. Most of the products that we use are whole food. Sometimes some of the whole food products are whole food, but they might have some unfriendly ingredients in them. Also, we use some very pure foods in our practice. I'm going to just give you a couple little secrets right now. When you look at your supplements, make sure they don't have any food coloring in them. If you see cellulose, that means they have wood in them. If they have silica, it means they have sand in them. If they have sugar, that means they have sugar in them. If they have trans fat or partial hydrogenated oils, I think that carbonate is more difficult to digest than citrate when it comes to calcium. Look at the ingredients. You can get some very supposedly healthy, all natural, whole food products that have some challenges. Dr. Bob, my, my question is about my 50 year old son who takes very good care of himself and on an aspirin every day. That's not taking care of yourself. Taking an aspirin every day is not healthy. You should get Dr. Bob's Trans Fat Survival Guide. Aspirin tricks your body's ability to make a fat called prostaglandin number two. So I want you to go once again and do a search, type in PG2, prostaglandin number two, and aspirin. Aspirin works by stopping that fat from occurring in your body. The reason that people take aspirin is they're eating a lot of the other foods that causes blood cells to stick together. He recently learned that he had an ulcer, hello, probably from the aspirin and H. pylori. He's on antibiotics and I would like to know what other supplements would be good for him. First, I'd get him off the aspirin. You may consider having essential fatty acids blood spot test done. 
we actually use a product in our practice called BioHPF, which is specific for the H. pylori. You may consider some probiotics, but the aspirin is not healthy. I'm just trying to be honest with you. Thank you, Dr. Bob, for your piece on vitamin D. I take a capsule every day. Couple questions. Um, they take 10,000 cap uh, milligrams. Here's what you have to understand with vitamin D. And I read a lot of articles, even an article from Harvard Medical School that says that people who have chronic low back pain have to get their vitamin D level up to 50,000 for it to impact your ability to prevent back pain. If you're taking vitamin D and you notice that your body is starting to get itchy, that means that you don't have probably enough calcium. Back off on the D. I take about 6,000 units a day on my tongue, four to 6,000. I'd encourage you to have your D tested. So all the articles I've ever read on vitamin D, yes, you can OD on anything, but if your skin starts to itch, back off, okay? That's really important. Um, thank you for the information. This person asked me some information about heart, and they wanted to know about a condition. This is the word I was chuckling about. It's called bradycardia. I think, where do they ever come up with these words like bradycardia and lumen and duck? And you're like, wow. Well, bradycardia is slow heart rate. We use B vitamins, thiamine, thiamine for that would help immensely. We use a product called BioB100, thiamine. You want to use a B complex, but heavy on the thiamine. It will help you a lot. Now, as far as arrhythmias go, what we have in our practice, and I'm looking at it right now, is called an acoustic cardiogram. The acoustic cardiogram is taking um, sound energy because we have it has a stethoscope and we put on the four valves of the heart heart goes love dub not to insult your intelligence but the love in the dub part is caused by the muscles contracting but we see speed it up sometimes if somebody might not have enough minerals in their body especially calcium I have seen people eating wheat and fat alter digestion interrupting the absorption of minerals causing arrhythmias in the body. I'm getting nauseated, Dr. Bob, that's another question. Um, since eating healthy, what's up? Well, what's up is this. Your body pH is probably acid. And when you're eating these vegetables, it's causing the acid to leave your body and that's causing digestive distress. What I would encourage you to do is maybe saute or stir fry your vegetables first, then eat them, okay? Because that's gonna help with the pH not being so upset in the body. Last question, what would cause a woman to get her period every two weeks? Too much estrogen, a compromised liver, probably not enough B vitamins. That's one of the reasons the body uses B vitamins in the liver to process the estrogen. Having a heavy menses every two weeks is just too much. And if you were to do Dr. Bob's ABCs, a half a red apple every day, third cup of beet fiber, and a medium carrot, that will help. B vitamins will help. No canned food, no soy. And supplement-wise, everybody wants to take a supplement, it seems like. Calcium d glucurate. Calcium d glucurate, about three a day. You know what I want to talk about next week? Bonus package time. pH. Acid and alkaline. pH will be really, really important. Hey, this is Dr. Bob. Thank you for following us on Facebook. Tweet this. Excellent. Ask Dr. Bob if I must say so myself. Look forward to speaking to you next week.